folks, happy Father's Day from all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, you'll never meet better fathers than us. <laughs> Uh, I, I believe AJ's got a story about that, but we, you know, we'll get to that one a little bit later here. Uh, thanks for joining us. This is the Margu campaign, AJ, the tri generational campaign. These guys got to level up after not defeating a dragon, according to Esteban Montoya, general of the Halfling army. Uh, however, they are pretty banged up and they have some decisions to make. We will get to that in just a moment. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. Most importantly, if you want to be on a one-shot like last night's Saturday group or Tuesday's talk show, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will take care of you. If you want to buy really cool crap, not like my Illinois shirt, but more like my phone case, uh, tinyurl.com, RPG swag is at the bottom. Also featured is the murderhobocon.com swag in there uh and all the profits go to cancers uh, the american cancer society we'll get to that later uh thank you pirate dog dice i got me a pc last night actually he rolled like shit but <clears throat> yeah that's what happens uh and if your game stinks unlike ours try some adventure sense from oddfishgames.com Ah, it'll put a nice aroma in here, unlike uh, some garlic issues as discussed in the green room. Uh, they also make the shine system. So if you want to learn how to write much more gooder than me, check out oddfishgames.com, the shine system. Alluded to it earlier, I'm going to bang it into your heads all day long. Murderhobocon.com, August 1st, it's a Sunday. Uh, it's going to be hot. Sit around in your underwear, keep your camera up, play some games. Uh, it's a charity con, so once the bills are paid, which are surprisingly cheap at a virtual con, uh, all the money goes to the American Cancer Society, so I don't have to deal with the IRS. Uh, check it out. We have our website. Uh, we need DMs, GMs, seminar, and panelists, although I still have to approve five games today. Uh, so spots are filling up. Uh, tickets are on sale, but not to the games yet. They will go on sale uh, probably another week, uh, but it's going to be fun. It's for charity. Check it out. Now, enough of that. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the individuals who are going to keep you more than entertained tonight. Uh, we will start with the senior member of the group, Frank Sr. Who are you? Who are you playing? I am Frank Sr., also known as Sugar Daddy. I'm playing Leaf, the less than considerate. <laughs> <laughs> killed him. Good. Sorry about that, Brett. Oh my God, you killed him. <laughs> Does this mean we can uh, call Leaf Sugar for the rest of the game? Yeah, that's uh, Sugar Daddy, I believe. Uh, Mr. Daddy is how it's going to go. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> Yep, no matter one of them sugar days, that doesn't matter how long you lick on that, they last all day. <laughs> you are, of Ooh. course, speaking of the lollipop, I'm sure. Uh, next up, and that is a beautiful segue to Felix. AJ, uh, tell us about yourself. <laughs> That's a tough act to follow. Uh, I'm playing Felix, the half rogue, half druid, human. Uh, and I am on the lookout for the crazies today. I thought they were finding you. <laughs> oh, they will. I'm trust me, they'll pop out of the woods to find me. Well, it is Father's Day, maybe, you know. Ah uh, <laughs> Jason, uh, same question, different answers. Uh Copious Mold Bitters the third, the gnome, uh beer uh purveyor of fine alcohol spirits, new owner. With uh, his business partners of the Roadhouse, we're still looking for a new name for the Roadhouse. Um, so yeah, business is good, and deathly afraid of running into. Um, <clears throat> really, that's what you're deathly afraid of, at the moment. Uh, youngest member of the group, uh, Little Frank. Who are you? Who are you playing? Show us that Hi. axe, baby. Hi, I got an axe. That's a juvenile with a weapon, boys and girls. <laughs> Made it clear Confederate redneck steel. Oh, uh, CPS will be there in a minute. <laughs> uh, is your cat around or uh, still doing stuff? 
he's he will be here soon, probably. He's on his way home, so he'll be home when he gets here. We will move to the long-winded Nicholas. Nicholas, who are you? Who do you play? Oh, now I can't hear him. There you are. Sorry, I play Haggis Crabstein. Always loquacious. (laughs) Folks, as I alluded to earlier, these guys, uh, they actually beat the dragon. However, due to certain political inducements, uh, they have gone ahead and forfeited the rights to claim the victory to one General Esteban Montoya. If you're familiar with the show, you recognize that surname quite well. Uh, These guys have also discovered that everybody from the roadhouse uh, that got burned down by said dragon uh, are looking for jobs. And these fine purveyors of employment have made an offer they probably cannot refuse. Uh, They are looking to rebuild the roadhouse. Uh, They also have dragon skin uh, for scale mail and a few other side ventures today we're going to learn what they're going to do. They are currently in the small town of Triorki, where this cluster began for them. This particular cluster began for them. So, gentlemen, you've had uh, two weeks to go ahead and decide what you want to do. Uh, you have told me. Now let's hear it from your very voices. What would you guys like to do with Triorki, the roadhouse, the people, and where is Copius going to get them fine clothes? <laughs> what you want to do, guys? <clears throat> go west. Not go west. I want to go to the capital city and so for some much needed rest and relaxation. So west it is? <laughs> no, that's east. Wait, the capital's west. Remember no, Triorki no. uh, no. road? What's it called? Capital. What's west? What, is Raglan. Uh, uh. Raglan, that's the capital, right? No, no. Uh, no. capital's down south here. You guys are in Triorki in the center of the map. I believe you're familiar with Lightreach. Yes, I have a retirement home in Lightreach. Yes, uh, <laughs> Raglan, uh, this is where uh, Smidgey's Roadhouse was. This is where the uh, fortress was. This is likely the area where the uh, big red worm came from. And Where of course, its treasure is at? Probably. Uh, and certainly no uh, mate or loved ones. Uh, and then Raglan Tower was where uh, the general and the bounty hunter, who has taken an unusual interest in Felix because of his masculine prowess, yes. are probably at. Probably we, did, at. we made a promise oh, to see them at the tower. If we don't go, we're kind of, that's not good, right? You you know, made he's, a, he's got we a, made a point. promise not to go to Rag. <clears throat> But he's expecting us. If we don't go, and then he finds us, which he probably will, because DM Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. You just made the list. <laughs> DM Frank. Your ass is grass, pal. <laughs> no, hey, you've you been trying to get him to talk, so now you're going after him for it. Yeah, come on. I, I like him better when he was quiet. <laughs> no, so so we we obviously need to get stuff set up in Triorki with the remaining staff and the legal documents and and Heine is here in town as a potential manager of the roadhouse because she's already under contract with Old Bitters Brewery for distribution of Old Bitters brand. So we have uh, some leadership potential. We need to know of the staff that remain what their positions at the roadhouse were because we need security we need serving staff brewers and i think felix has his own objectivity horse we need employees i think they're 1099 so sex workers independent contractors that are willing to come in and yeah yeah that's it that's that's what i meant that's what Uh, i meant i'm i'm thinking Cooks and uh, stable personnel as well. Yes. Okay. And then, and then you need somebody to maintain that brothel. Uh, 
Handyman. Got it. Yeah. So uh, let's do this the old fashioned way because I love that. Uh, what was the. Okay, so we have weight staff. Who wants to percentage die against me? For, uh, I think Felix is probably saving himself for the uh, for, for marriage. For marriage. For marriage. I'll, I'll roll percentile against the weight staff. 71. Two. <laughs> uh, you will get uh, the entire weight staff back. Uh, eight. Eight, including. A pair of lovelies that Haggis Crapstain knows all too well. What's a weight staff? Uh, those were that's the ones that strip you down naked, there, bud. Oh, well, well, no, they were they were waiters. Well, that's a weight staff. Weight staff. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that's eight weight staff. Got it. Uh, brewers are up next. Is we there a one? special one for the people who made the sauce? Uh, that would be the cooks. All right. Does anyone? I'll roll brewers. Uh, 33. I rolled low for brewers. Uh, 51. I'll give you uh, one brewer. Plus Heine? Plus Heine. Well, Heine's your manager, isn't she? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so but, she's going to pull double duty. But she has some expertise. That's the... Yes, she does. Okay. Uh, Felix, you ready for your percentile roll? Yeah. Hot one. 81. 35. Uh-oh. Uh, I will give you... I'll give you six. Wow. Please, one of them be Madison. Uh, oh, wait, she was somewhere else. Never mind. She was at the pink house. Never mind. Hey, hey, gone. hey, Felix. She's dead. Keep your hand out of the till, bud. What? <laughs> These are old man terms. Uh, old man we terms. all know that that's not going to happen. Ain't, uh, no free, ain't no freebies. You pay just like everybody else. Right. Yeah, don't put your hand yeah, in the yeah, cookie yeah. jar. I will pay Six. just like <laughs> just like the three of us would pay. Uh, you know, in sixty-two. Places. What are we rolling for? You got uh, two male sex workers, and you have four female sex workers. Uh, next up is cooks. I'll roll cooks. Hmm. Uh, Fifty-six. Fourteen. Uh, you got two cooks. Uh, stable personnel. This is going to go bad. All of them. I thought they all died. They all died. Yeah, because you have no witnesses. Yeah, they're you all. You need to find. Guys. You need to find one in Triorki. Uh Last but certainly not least, uh, the jack of all trades, the maintenance man, the handyman, the guy who knows the ins and outs. Uh, th- there was was there security though at the? <laughs> oh, the- I'm sorry. Yeah, security is up at the top. Uh, let's roll for security first. What do you roll to do that? Uh, my, percentage, percentage. my percentage die doesn't have a, it only has goes up by tens. It doesn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, you you need to roll that too. Well, you can roll one and that can be your first Just roll it twice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first. 71. 67. Uh, I'll give you one. Man, I'll give you one security guard. Okay. Uh, Fang, Fang man, you want to roll for the handyman? Oh, yeah. Well then, roll those roll those uh, percentage dice. Oh, what uh, Frank Senior? You'll know it. Uh, what's the most famous handyman? Bowser one Builder. Day, one day at one day at a time. Oh, uh, 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 Snyder. Oh. Snyder. Snyder. Yeah, Snyder. Snyder. You get Snyder. Um, I don't think I have a percentage die. No, yeah. Roll, roll right, a I'll, ten, ten twice. Roll it. Roll it. Uh, I'll roll it, Frankie. Uh, 94. <laughs> you got Schneider. You got right. Schneider. Frank, uh, so you come down here and I'll give you a pair. That's fine. So that's uh, so 19 you... staff. That's what yes. I count. I count 10, 16, 18, 19. And then Heine is an additional one. Correct. Right. Heine is going to be your jack of all trades. She'll be able to do uh, multiple jobs still while... Uh, juggling staff issues you will need to find some stable peons right back so, that'll be uh, easy we can look in triorki though for some uh sure stable peons. Right. you know what anywhere you go uh a job opportunist is going to be around like for raglan we could... sure raglan <laughs> <laughs> okay 
So we have that. We were seeing the barrister to try to get up some final documents to incorporate this into Heine's work and contracts with all the staff that uh, would need those. So anyone in a leadership position among these folks? Uh, just Heine. Uh, you know what? Uh, Schneider's probably going to be an uh, independent contractor. And the sex workers? Uh, they work mostly on commission, as Felix can go ahead and attest to. Oh, wait, he was tied up. And he couldn't talk to him. Never mind. <laughs> Is I don't there, know. I, I just pay him. Or one of the sex workers uh, qualified to be, a uh, let's say, the madam? D12 against me? Deuce. Six. Uh, one of the females can be a madam. Her name is Hortense. Can I, can I see the? There was one sex worker that I rebought my both from, but uh, is she there? I don't remember her name, but oh. she was like an Amazon lady or something. But yeah, yeah all the good. But she had a she had a lot of um, um, like illegal stuff. She had. She had gifts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. D twelve against me. Um, Eleven. Twelve. One. She's dead. <laughs> So is the entire roadhouse gone? Just yes. It, well, you haven't been there, but the staff that survived will tell you of a great travesty. Flames uh, erupting out of the very ground itself, even though it was a dragon flying overhead. Uh, most of the structure is burnt. So along with your stable staff, you're going to need some construction personnel in Triorki. Well, we can go back there because there were some metal things. It wasn't all wood. We can go see if there's any remnants of like jewelry, money, coins, ceiling fans. Yeah. yeah, you never know. <laughs> Maybe a light bulb. <laughs> you know, we could I use some ceiling fans. We'll be know, the first never place in medieval can. times to do that. You know, I love uh, playing with you two young guys because <laughs> you bring out the weirdest things. <laughs> ceiling fans is what you're curious about. I, you know, think I'm, about it. It's a good idea. Oh, I. I'm not going to dispute it. I, I think you have uh, cornered the market on this idea. Maybe you should get some halflings who pedal and they move <laughs> a rope, and that's how the fan moves. Maybe this the male sex guys. Maybe we could give them a... Wait, wait. We'll offer spin class. And then yeah. that, will just run the, that will just run the fans. That'll run the fans and the lights. Yeah. Yes. Lights, yes. Uh, Alva Edison is one of your sex workers. <laughs> yes, Schneider will be well, he something in his younger years. That's right. That's <laughs> how he came up with great ideas. Staring um, at the ceiling. <laughs> well, Tesla was thought to be like insane, so. I could yeah, turn into a whale and you could trim off some of my blubber to oil use for oil lamps. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. See, the it. whale is the apex predator of the world. He yeah, they, absolutely. 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 Ambergris or Ambergris or Ambergris. Ambergris. Whale, Whale snot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, you got most of your stuff. You're gonna need construction. You're going to need stables. Uh, and so, uh, temp so temporarily, we discussed setting up a tent city at the uh -huh. site while we waited. Uh, is there someone in Triorki that has canvas for sale for tents or temporary structures? You are in luck, my friend. Oh, <laughs> A purveyor of fabric uh, has recently arrived. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he is spreading a tale of complete and utter chaos. Uh, do you want to go like find him? Light reach? <laughs> he was actually headed to Light Reach. Oh. And they have a timeshare there. Devastation uh, awaited him, uh, and he has quite the tale to tell. So, um, yes, I would like to find him, uh, but I want to see if we can, before we find him, if we are hearing this rumor or tale, I would like to ask one of the other townsfolk about it first before we talk to him. And then just a reminder to the group, we have three deeds for places in Lightreach. Two of them we want to sell. So if this guy's heading east, south, wherever direction he's heading, we need to get ahead of him to sell those two deeds in light reach. <laughs> yeah, you got to <laughs> screw the rubes over. <laughs> Good point. We gotta, we're going to have to hustle somewhere to sell these deeds. 
Uh, make, make it a timeshare for your employees. <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh, there's a the thought. We make the manager own the company, and then when they come knocking on the door, it would be her fault. Stock. Stock options. <laughs> Real estate stock. In, in lieu of payment, uh, we'll give them room and board and partial ownership in light reach properties. What is light reach? Is it like still bloody or is it like clean? We'll, we'll, kind we'll of? give oh, her it's totally we'll clean. Give. Oh, yeah. oh, it's washed. It's washed. Yeah, it's like clean, clean, man. Like there's nothing there. Even well, there's nothing a there. Clean slate. It's a beautiful city. Pristine. Give them the deed Pristine. to that star. Yeah, your choice of levels, baby. There are three levels. Totally clean. That's right. Yeah. Maybe a give them a deed to a star. <laughs> but, say they I don't know what you are talking about. When I left, the place was in immaculate condition, and I can't wait to return. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, crime was at the lowest rate it's probably been out there in 10 Ever. years. The gods Ever. there are so rich they took 91% of our gold. <laughs> they- wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they did, didn't they? Yeah. And they took my ship. <laughs> All right. Uh, and they so took I- some zonkies. Yes. Yeah. Just the- you know, it's funny that you mentioned that. I'm glad uh, somebody's thinking ahead. So, uh, D12 against me, Copious. Oh, Lord. Two. Eight. Uh, yeah, the, uh, yeah the, the citizen that you talked to in Triorki says, yeah, I guess it was pretty bad. I guess there's, you know, like nobody alive. I, I, I guess the dragon went there first. I haven't heard all the details of the story, but all I know is there's only like one survivor. One survivor. Oh, right. Cop- Copius is immediately going to talk about his <laughs> close personal friendship with several members of that community and ask about them if we know if they're, or particularly the madam who he had a great friendship with. Uh, if uh, I think not- one member of the group might have had a better. Oh no, actually, you did make the best impression. I sorry, Felix. I was thinking no. of staff. Felix <laughs> made a staff. different impression. Right. Uh, a three. Sadly, Copious, uh, I ain't never been to Light Reach, so I don't know. And uh, a single tear is going to go down as I, and Copious is going to think about his lost ship if it takes it to get the tear to come down. But Performance it, role. I'll, I'll, I'll give that. But he, he will, um, he will really, really emphasize that the fact he owns property at Light Reach. Uh, performance, and that that is his retirement destination. He had, a, he owned a home in Light Reach, actually. <laughs> Uh, 15. Yeah, the guy, the Rube's buying it. Uh, well, sorry, buddy. Uh, we all die. We all take dirt naps at some point in time. Sorry you lost your friends. I got to go uh, make some donuts. Donuts? Donuts? I'm going to go. Uh, but if you, if you want to talk to the guy, his name is Hugo. Uh, and last time I saw him, he was up at the tavern. I'm going to go to the tavern. Let's go to the tavern. Yeah, Let's go to the tavern. Go uh, you guys we can, eat, we can eat donuts and drink beer. I don't like ethnic food. <laughs> <laughs> donuts. Donut. The ethnicity of a donut is horrific to me. It's uh, Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. I'm, I'm stealing. <laughs> uh, you guys enter the tavern and you see a lot of the people that you met the first time you were in Triorki. You also see two sisters of uh, the moon. Uh, they are all enraptured by an individual standing atop the bar. He wears leather boots, a leather jerkin, uh, a hat with a very ostentatious feather, and he is giving a robust description of the horrors that he saw with bodies washed up on the desolate three levels uh, and the stench, the stench was horrible. Uh, there were pieces of debris littering the cove that once protected this, this fine and noble city of honest, hardworking citizens. And uh, he, was there to, <laughs> he, he was there to deliver his group of textiles uh, to a certain uh, performance-based establishment uh, when he discovered the damage. Uh, he, he knew his uh, destination was on the top level at the house, but the view from the top level uh, caused his heart to wrench. I mean, the destruction, there, there 
I, I swore to the gods that no one, no one could have survived this. Uh, but I'm wrong because as my eyes fell at, at the, the horror and the sadness, I noticed someone had escaped because there were unusual hoof prints in the mud. So someone <laughs> has survived. <laughs> and, and upon my return, I found an individual, uh, the last surviving member, uh, and she lost her mount. Uh, but she is the sole survivor uh, of the town of Light Region. Let us all have a moment. Lost her mounts. Uh huh. I don't even know the zonkey. Hey, hey, Felix. Do you remember our first encounter after Light Reach when we left and we met a ranger and she was really taken with Buttercup? Mm-hmm. I remember that little. I remember her. Yes. But nothing bad happened, right? We yeah, she no, went her own way. Bullshit. <laughs> yep, that's the one. That's Felix. the one. Yeah, I oh, remember her. Uh, Why? <laughs> you, you guys are at the back of the tavern and you can see everybody's head bows in reverence. Uh, but as you look up, you notice this Hugo guy is kind of scanning the crowd a little bit. Uh, he sees you guys notice him and he immediately averts his eyes. Uh, with that, uh, he says, my friends, I plan on returning, but first I'd like to take up a collection to rebuild light reach. <laughs> he takes his ostentatious hat off, flings it into the crowd, and coins begin to appear. Does yeah. he own light yeah. reach? Pass Last that hat reach. back this way. That should be coming to us. Yeah, that's our money. Yeah, we own it. Well, you, the you, got, you, you guys are at the back, so... Feel free to interact with this guy. He plops down and uh, thank you, sister. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Your kindness is much appreciated. He's Show working, the deed. He's working oh. the crowd pretty hard. <clears throat> hey, Copius, I think this is a great opportunity for you to show off that fancy deed that you have for most of Light Reach, if not all of Light Reach. Well, at least three buildings in Light Reach. Yeah. I think there's only what? Seven or eight of them in there. <laughs> uh, as you notice the hat being passed around, you notice it starts to get pretty full, as does this uh, fabric dealer, Hugo. Uh, he sees it headed towards you guys, and he goes on an intercept route to go ahead and do it. I'm going to spur forward and accidentally bump into whoever's got the hat and knock it to the floor. <laughs> Hey, where's the percentage roll? Where's, where's, you where's got those it, rogues? Baby. Get ready for sleight of hand, rogues. <clears throat> 99. 99% uh, percent of the coins. <laughs> King, uh, <laughs> as the, the ostentatious oh. feather on that hat is bent. Uh, Hugo looks up at you, Leaf. I'm so sorry. I tripped. And kind of, you can tell he's kind of pissed, but he's holding back the anger. That's okay, my son. Do not worry about it. I will collect it all. It is all right. Just step back, my friend. Well, you sure you don't want to take a swing at me? I mean, I understand. I, it, if you said it was an accident and he picks up his hat and sees the bent ostrich feather, and he's like, then I'm certain it was an accident. Uh, the patrons in the tavern are recollecting the coins. Uh, I, I, Felix I, I is going to help boys are, I hope gonna, you boys are helping. I, helping I, 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 uh, help help let, me just, let me just grab all the... Uh, yeah, let me help uh, you. That's so, so who's helping <laughs> collect the coins? Agus, are you helping? Like collect, in, collect in parentheses, right? Like, I'm going to steal it. Oh, oh yeah, totally. Head <laughs> <laughs> of hands. I'm not going to steal all of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give them a few back. Okay. Felix D10, Hoggis D10. Uh, what about sleight of hand? What? Hey. What's a sleight of hand? Uh, 
You know what? I, let me stand corrected. Do a percentage. I, I, no, roll. I have a d10. <laughs> yeah, Three. do a per, do a percentage okay. roll though. Reroll. Do a percentage roll. Because <clears throat> there's X amount of coins. I wish I could keep fifty nine. First one. Twenty four. No. Twenty four. Uh, a lot of the patrons are helping, so you guys do get twenty four coins and fifty nine coins uh, as you. Uh, secretly step on a great big pile. I assume you'll grab a few coins and make a very noticeable donation into the hat uh, while scuffing away the rest of it. Uh, Hugo, uh, thank you, uh, my friends. Uh, I don't think I got your donation, Leaf. <laughs> Actually, can oh, you I'm going to reach down and start on untying the front of my trousers. <laughs> I said, uh, what? You said you wanted a what? And Cookie's what was yours? So I, I'm going to try something, and Cookie's he's going to step step up onto a table because he's a little shorter than all the halflings in the room anyway, so he can <clears> see. <throat> and he's going to direct this to the the Hugo character, who's a halfling, right? Yes. Yeah. So he's essentially going to say, you know, how much he appreciates Brother Hugo's work in this effort as an owner of several properties in Lightreach and unaware of this disaster that has befallen them, I don't have the resources to invest back into Lightreach because my colleagues and I are trying to help out the poor unfortunates currently here in Triorki from the Roadhouse. <clears throat> and so what I would ask Hugo to do is take that portion of funds that he has collected that would have gone to help rebuild my properties far away in Lightreach, well away from the, the commerce neighborhood of Triorki. Instead, donate that to us in our efforts to rebuild the roadhouse here so we can support this community. I'm going to turn around and flip a gold coin to Copius that here, let me donate to that cause. So Think of the children, Hugo. <laughs> you know, Felix is going to not only match Leaf's donation, but go one above and double it with two gold coins. Uh, three gold coins. I'll give three. Four. <laughs> that is such four a gold coins. Yeah. Four, four coins. Do we have a five? Five, five, five gold coins. People begin <laughs> to dig deep into their pockets. Uh, and while they are not rich individuals, uh, you see uh, more coins coming into the tune of 56 coins. Uh, and some of the people actually reach into his hat, pull the donations out, and then give them to Copius. This causes a little bit of consternation to Mr. Hugo, boss. Uh, and he uh, is, his ability to tamp down the anger is significantly lessened. Uh, you don't even need to make the roll. You can see that he does not appreciate getting out -shistered. <laughs> Copius is going to look at him and flip him a single gold coin. And if that if that's not clear what he's doing, it, I it's, think it should be from one shyster to another. Was that a gold What's coin or a copper gold? coin copper? with gold plating? Yeah, on copper. It. <laughs> Maybe a slug. Can I give him a wooden coin? Can I give him a wooden Message coin? received. Thank you, my gnomish friend. You are a man above all. Uh, uh, I think you gnome above all. Yeah, he uh, he steps away with far less coins than he had started with. Uh, however, you guys know that he knows light reach is destroyed. He knows there's a footprint that has been left in the mud. And he, he, according to him, there is a survivor. Uh, he will yeah, make a hasty right. exit and use stealth. With a natural one, he will slam the door on his way out. <laughs> and hey, to the party, um, out of hearing, and this is... Uh, now, we're making assumptions about the survivor. He, he didn't say the name of the survivor, though, correct? No. And he hasn't indicated... Are we sure the weird footprint isn't from the gnome and is the gnome? We did we see the bodies of both gnomes when we did the inspection of the ship? Uh, you did not. No. 
So uh, remember the lizard creature that the one known- You are interrupted by the two sisters of the moon. Uh-oh. Excuse me, brothers. Didn't you report that you were from Light Reach? Um, we did. What were we yes. saying? Coke Absolutely. Is... Yeah. We were. We would like to offer these eleven gold coins to you to help you uh, with the poor survivors of Roadhouse, but we would like for you to donate half of it uh, to Mister Boss, the textile delivery man. We'll consider it. I, I, Copious, go ahead and we can talk to him about buying some tent material when we do. That's very gracious, sisters. Thank you for your donation. We'll be happy to. Is there they, any? They, they nod and, and walk away, allowing you to, again, convene in private ish. We got the sisters. They have like a lot of health. Well, I, I see it this way, Copious. We can use that f the, the five gold pieces to help pay for the tent material. I'm sure he'll give you a great offer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's here or there. We cut his throat and take it. I mean, it it go either way. Shyster. And I am less than considerate, so either one works for me. Mm. Yeah, let's cut his throat for doing the exact same thing we just did. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> And we'll steal his money. No one should share my wool. <laughs> that is why they are called sheep. Uh, okay, so uh, you guys are at the back of the tavern. Uh, life has returned to normal. You notice uh, uh, various conversations going on. Where the hell's light reach? Never heard of it. I think it's south. Not sure. How did the wave get in south? You hear a lot of drunken behavior going on. Uh, one voice that you do hear is, well, who's the survivor? And nobody seems to have caught that information. Uh, Felix is going to kind of whisper and murmur to the party. Is that Inigo Montoya or did he die? Because I thought we saw him afterward somewhere. I don't know. The survivor. He, he, he was on top of the tower, which where the, the whole, monster in Big Wave was. So he, he probably died. That whole cliff came down. Yeah, yeah you're gone. right. He probably died. It's it's fine. It can't be Montoya. There were a lot of people in Light Reach. There's no way it was them. You know, and unless it, he knew like a levitation spell and was able to keep himself from falling. Or teleportation spell. Who's the or who's the guy that guided us to the jungle? Teleportation. You guys I guy. cut you guys off. You guys or transmutation. Enough. He could have turned into a whale. He would have got out of there very quickly. Well, if he, he could have turned into a whale and fallen on a town and crushed everybody. Yeah. It was, it was all his fault. It was an inside job. Look at the head on that. Or I mean, hi, Frank. So um, I think you're right. It was an inside job. Whale oil can't make, melt steel. It was an inside job. Same with the fire in the dragon. You know what? It doesn't matter who survived. It has nothing to do with us. We didn't have anything to do with that. I have no idea we what happened. We would never went to Light Reach. We just know that it was gone, and we moved on. That's all. <laughs> What's me? I've never been to Light Reach. Well, oh. you know, we got caught in that wave. It wrecked our ship, and we came up, and everybody in that town was dead. There's nothing we can do about it. We were lucky nope, to have wait, what we no, had. No, no, Our story uh, uh, of our adventure has always been that we were at Light Reach. We wrecked our ship. Uh, off the coast, went to Light Reach, great place, loved it there, hope to return, but we're heading south to try to regroup and then hopefully go back. Oh, thank you for fun. reminding me because I told totally you. When we left. <laughs> we're never going to remember. I remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did, but we've told so many lies to so many damn people <laughs> I can't remember them. Well, I have to write them down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, yeah. I want to give the money that we collected from the, the people in the tavern to Heine and let her negotiate for the tents directly with the... the, the That's a good idea. That That's is an idea. excellent idea. Um, and I can go ahead. I, I can give her some more, too. She's probably going to need it. I, I don't have any idea what the cost of the product is going to be. So, Well, you got 50... Well, uh, you did have 59 minus 3, I think. Uh, and you had 24 minus, how many did you do? Two? So 22. Yeah. 
so so you do have uh, 56 and 22, uh, 78 coins that Five are DLT. essentially free plus 11 uh, from the sister. So I'll, I'm giving it all to her with and giving her instructions to because she she owns a, her own wagon so she, clearly she's done something like this before and let her uh, negotiate a price and then come back to uh, me or the yeah the and then we can give her what else she needs but sure. have right. her not commit to it till she gets a price and then if she needs yeah. to make a down payment on that she has some money to put a down payment. Sure. Uh, do you want to leave the tavern and go uh, give her that skinny then? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. I'll enough. go with him. Uh, around here. As you guys walk around, you know, the survivors are still knowing about the CU2. Uh, they begin to pepper you with questions. Hey, boss, uh, how soon before we leave? Uh, you know, have you found anybody? You know, what are we, what are we doing here? Uh, when can we go back and uh, rebuild our homes? I'm going to tell them, you know, we're, we're working on that right now. But uh, what, one thing we don't have is stable hands. So if you talk to anybody or you Solid see as anybody, a rock, sir. Solid as a rock. <laughs> stable hands. Ah, stable <laughs> hands. I'm just incredulous that you would do that. <laughs> this is my shooting hands. This is my shooting hands. <laughs> yeah, baby. <clears throat> but I just tell them to keep an eye out for somebody that might, you know, be interested and in come along as a stable hand. D12 against me, Leaf. Four. All right, they'll keep an eye out. Okay. Uh, you guys quickly found Heine uh, over at her Conestoga wagon. Uh, same thing, uh, Copious, you're going to be called Hey Boss from now on. Hey Boss, because uh, you're in a Burt Reynolds movie. Hey Boss. <laughs> Taking it off. Uh, what, what can we do for you? Are th I'm being asked that by the the folks are by behind. Heine. Behind. I'm going to lay out the plan to Heine and say we're going to try to get materials to set up the tent city out at the old uh, area, pick up some um, some uh, shovels or basic supplies so we can clear out whatever debris is left over there, Maddox, shovel, axe. We need axes and saws to yeah. cut timber. So when you Just say Hugo, are you talking Hugo Boss? Um, is that that's the only person we know of that sells the fabric for tents, right? <sighs> yeah, he's expensive. Do, is there someone else in town we can get something else from? We can patch something together. <clears throat> he's going to have the most fabric available. Uh, we can try and piecemeal it. But if we can convince him, he'd be the guy to do it. Uh, I saw his wagon earlier, and it is loaded down. Uh, well, he's not so good with money right now, so maybe we could work something out. Yeah, you know, he was planning on selling all those goods in Light Reach, which apparently he wasn't able to do for some reason. Oh, well, he oh, didn't he... get a lot of donations, too. Just yeah. don't mention our names. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll, I will see what I can do. Who wants to D12 against me with Hugo Boss? Uh, Robert's back. Robert, D12 Robert. against me. Come on, Dragon Skinner. Come on, Bob. <laughs> Nine. Close. <laughs> uh, Heidi, we'll find you guys later in the afternoon. Uh, hey, boss. Uh, I'm going to need some more money. What's he charging you? Uh, he's, he's charging about 20% upkeep over and above the price. What's the he, he's headed to Raglan next. Oh, dear. Uh -oh. You suck the bait. All right. Kill the fish hook. How much? Uh, he's going to ask for 280. Of what we already gave her or 280 total? Total. So how much has she got already? 66, 22, and 11, 88, 99. 99. So, so you need a, a what, 181? Mm -hmm. Not including right. other supplies, though. I but got it. I'll give it to her. Let's just be clear, though. This is just buying the fabric, or this is? This is buying the fabric, and since he's going to Raglan, 
They'll drop it off. Good. That's big of it. Oh. All right. So shipping's included. So shipping minus 181. It's free. I got it. If Phil, he could create a company that does that in like two days. That's his brother. Uh, Bob Amazon. <laughs> ah, yes. Mr. Amazon. Uh, I was thinking I Nomex would be our next adventure. Uh, so there, there's a deal. If you're going to give him 280, he'll, uh, he'll set yeah, you up. I'll give him the rest of it. We need to do it. So The fabrics are not so much canvassy <laughs> as they are uh it, it's a new blend of fabric uh it's actually created by worms uh oh. but it is well he was going to the pink house so uh silk tents are great yeah, it, it, it is water repellent uh and while it looks flimsy it will satisfy your needs for a few weeks that's great buy it uh that's great hey felix go ahead and measure out yourself some little piece of it for some underpants we'll just make some oh yeah uh yeah do a singlet <laughs> do it while you're at it have i them... think felix would look fantastic in a singlet hey felix have him sew a little pouch into the front of it where you can put a cup to catch all that dripping oh I... <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> Uh, I, I was thinking maybe uh, a spot to put in a coin, you know, like a coin. I thought coin. about like spices, so it like smells good or something. I think we're way beyond that. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> two, two coins, and then it could be two coins and a fountain. Nice. <laughs> Robert, Robert could sing that song. You need a you need a spice pouch because don't you still have two helpings? I Three do. Three coins oh, and a yeah. fountain, each yeah. one representing <laughs> happiness. Brought <laughs> by <laughs> two gay lovers. Sorry. Which I one that. will it yeah, be? Dead. That's all on you. Uh, Is it mine? Is it mine? <laughs> you know, it's like being off Vegas. Off the yeah. trip, like That's in awful. Reno. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is in the highway coming in. Yeah. Oh, next time we'll this, stop for coin. Oh no, this this is the dinner show at the chicken ranch. Ah, because I go there for the entertainment. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm not high enough for the chicken ranch. This is the chicken shack under the bridge. So where do we go? Uh, we need still need to go get uh, uh, axes and shovels and all that oh, stuff too. So you do indeed. Uh, so in Triorki, again, it's a small town. You're probably going to clean them out. Um, yep. So let's go with. Uh, you'll probably collect trees there. So yeah. there's, there's no uh, Von Tobel lumber store there. Uh, you are going to need some items. Who wants to roll percentage of the items that you are able to recover? Okay, I got percentage dice up. Okay. I could have rolled. 94. 94% of the items you need are in stock. It will cost you uh, roll a d20, Robert. D20, there it is. 12. Uh, 94 plus 12, 106, I believe, if my math is correct. It will cost you 106 gold pieces to clean out Tree Orky. All right. I'm, I'm keeping track. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, with that, you will have made the blacksmith's shop useless, and he will need a job. Hey, we got us a blacksmith. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you, do you know how to shoe a horse? Hey, I know yes. what. They know how to shoe just, a horse, but not a zonkey. Just a to see. Just, yeah, same difference. Just to see how good you are. Could you make a male chastity belt that would fit Felix? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want that. I don't need that much metal, so I think so. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. I don't want him to be my carrier. I'm, I'm gonna need six uh, silver pieces. That should be more than enough. 
so, so what do you want to feel like you want to shoot the chickens? No, I was thinking that he could come work for us at the stable think... as a farrier to shoe the horses that are coming through. Absolutely. Stable guy. Yeah. Exactly. Stable guy. Stable guy. Uh, we need one of those. Felix, your idea? Persuade me. I'd, and, and, what I'd... Are you, and what are you offering? Oh, we've got a beautiful... Well, in addition to a handsome compensation package, we also have some employee benefits such as uh, part ownership of the employee Condo. vacation home. Condo. Vacation home. Yes, it's the vacation. Thank condos. you, Copias. Yes, we have condos that are on beautiful waterfront <laughs> property. It's a very clean neighborhood. The Philippines. There's no crime. The Philippines. And really secluded. Get there and get and relaxed. Secluded. Yes, yeah, secluded. Neighbors are quite it's up and coming. Felix, D twelve against me. My brother got married that there. Oh, one. Uh, <laughs> it's not light reach, is it? Because <laughs> I was in the tavern over there, and there's some dude with a big hat saying that light reach got blown off the map. Yeah, it did. We're going to rebuild Light Reach as the employee resort. So when vacation time comes around, I know it's a new concept, vacation, right? Paid vacation. <laughs> when your vacation comes around, you go to Light Reach and you spend time on the waterfront. Poison roll. When did we become the music man? Ten? I, I, I did ten. Ten? Uh, Deuce. Uh, the new concept. Remember, you're yeah, getting in on the ground floor of this both. Didn't the ground floor get washed away? That's why you're on the <laughs> ground floor. You can't be up on the second story when there is no first floor. You got to be on the ground floor. This is uh, a really rare opportunity for you, my friend. I think you should take it. Hamish the blacksmith is on board. Oh my God. Does anybody else feel real, real sleazy and dirty right now? I feel like a bad used car salesman right now. It's just so oh, dirty. You're going to have to rewatch the part in the tavern if you want to feel like you need a shower. What these right. guys did uh, would make you smile. <laughs> in all honesty, though, I don't think it's that bad of a job to work out at the stable at the roadhouse. It's got everything you'd want. He'll be able to perfect his craft. He'll probably take on apprentices. I mean, this yeah. is a business. This is a business venture. This is an and then he can spend his entire paycheck right back in the business. Wait, he oh. can. Um, he can. Uh, he could probably take up that little shop thing if he wants to have his own. Like, he can do the best. In the oil side. painting. He could get into oil painting next. Oh, I don't think you've seen the last of the oil painting. <laughs> Are we in? The capsule, or are we? <laughs> you are in Triorki. Oh, okay. Copies of that oil painting are circulating. His wife really liked it. Oh, jeez. Yes, yeah, she Mr. Did. and Mrs. Xerox really enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, everybody give me a perception check. I feel dirty. Yes, sir, dirty. 14. 30, 20. 21. Uh, Leaf, go ahead and do perception. Remember, you're muted. We just need to get that out of the way before he said it. Uh, 17. All of you notice birds uh, coming into Triorki uh, from the south, the west, and the east. Uh, they go to a very specific home uh, with a strange... I don't know, jail cell contraption on the roof. Uh, each of these birds seems to pick out an empty area uh, on the second floor of this building. And uh, it looks a little weird. Are, are they in the, the airy or are they on the roof line? They are in the airy. Uh, and you can tell if you kind of uh, move a little bit that the roof is like this, the Aries are on both sides, and there is a widow's walk in between. Uh, as you look, you see a silhouetted figure in the high noon light uh, going 
to see these animals. How do we get so, there? Just across the street. Paul the Okay, then I'm, I'm gonna go. The, I'm gonna go there and go inside and go to the walkway and see the birds. Uh, you Can go I throw in. a rock at the birds? Sure. But, uh, okay, I'm gonna do that. Sure. Are you like special that birds? Movie. Hit them. And if, <laughs> okay. it, if, if it's a one, you hit Haggis right in the back of the skull. Oh, one, a one, one, <laughs> one. one. <laughs> Gotta want a one. Too. Oh, it's so close. It's a four. <laughs> close enough. <laughs> oh. Haggis, just as you reach the doorway, a rock comes <laughs> over your shoulder and shatters the window right next to the door. You turn around and you see the dragonborn. Yeah. I'm going to turn around. And, I'm going to turn around and start pointing at things. <laughs> I'm just going to point at things. Uh, Haggis, as you reach the door, a portly uh, older halfling female throws the door open. You damn kids, be more careful. And she looks Who's at that dragonborn door. over there? Uh, she's charging. She's making a beeline for the fang man. <laughs> while, she, while she goes that uh, way, I'm going to slip on inside. Sure. Uh, you go inside. The front of it uh, that just gets stitches. has scrolls, parchments, inks, quills. Uh, it looks like a uh, scriptorium or a library of some kind. Uh, there's old tapestries on the wall. It's very uh, rustic-y, uh, very country kitchen kind of look. Uh, but it uh, denotes an eloquence of uh, scriptures and uh, texts. So uh, you can look around here. Uh, give me a perception check while you're inside. Um, 17. Uh, you hear the creaking of what it sounds like stairs uh, behind one of the tapestries. Uh, Leaf, Copious, Robert, Felix, uh, you see Haggis slip in. You see uh, Ma Kettle coming directly towards uh, Fang Man, and she does not look happy. Uh, you have course of action go inside, course of action uh, hang out with Fang Man, or uh, course of action three. Yeah, screw these two. They got I, themselves into it. I'm going to intervene between Fang Man and the charging halfling. Sure. Try to settle it down before he does something crazy like cut her head off. That'd be cool. <laughs> Copious, what are you doing? Yeah. I'm ignoring the whole mess. Fair enough. Uh, Felix? I think Felix is... What's the charisma of the lady coming at him? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, ugh, ugh. 14. Uh, she's Grandma an old lady. Kettle. Good she's enough. Got that Cruella de Vil cool she sounds a, she sounds a little crazy, and you know that's my type. Oh, oh, oh. I guess I didn't <laughs> think of that. Uh, I thought that's where uh, you were going. Oh, come on. Oh, I, I don't know why I would have. I don't know why you'd think that I was going in that direction. <laughs> oh, no, hell no. Felix is going to intervene as well. Uh, Robert, I what bet. Are you? <laughs> uh, at that last comment. I'm going to look at the stars. Oh, yeah. You and Copious are uh, busy not getting involved. Uh, Fang Man, you see your two associates flank you, probably warn you not to do anything overly stupid. Now's your chance to shine. What do you want to do? (laughs) (laughs) She is pissed, and uh, you should rightfully be pissed at your associate who threw you under the Conestoga wagon for this one. I'm going to say he went that way and ran the opposite direction. Uh, Leaf and Felix. Uh, let's see if she buys it. Manfang D12 against me. I want to hear what yours is for. 11. <laughs> I, I think I was close. <laughs> The game is afoot as the woman gives chase, (laughs) screaming and yelling for Fangman to return. Felix and Leaf, would you like to intervene, maybe tackle her or sprint along with her? Are are we in a position to get in front of her? Oh, yeah. I'm going to jump in front of her and say, now just hold on a minute. That was an accident. He did not mean to break your window. We'll be happy to pay for it. Uh, if you watched the Tampa Bay Lightning game last night, that's the spin move I'm going to try. 
11, it is unsuccessful as your bulkiness of being a half elf uh, prevents her from spinning off of you and continuing chase. Her ear perks up as she hears compensation. That was an expensive window. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, it might have, uh, you might think it was an expensive window, but I, uh, we will that pay to have it. window cost me two gold. Well, it's an old window, though, and it's been well used, so I will give you one gold. Persuasion. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Let me persuade her. Would it just? <laughs> why are we sticking around over one well, gold piece should. here? Let's yeah, I got no pluses well. on this one. Doesn't somebody 19. have a One gold and three bit silver. All right, three bit silver and no gold. Now she's going to try and get around you again. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cast entangle under her feet. <laughs> Can't we just cast mending on the window? <laughs> I could if I got the chance. <laughs> Instead, he's you know hassling an old lady. <laughs> no, this all this does is slow her down. It doesn't do anything else. It just slides so, you, so you're gonna trip an old lady and make her break her hip. That's what I'm hearing. Well, you know she's comely, fourteen charisma. I, is that what Felix, Felix is into? She's, them being she's gonna trip well, and fall. It is. She's <laughs> gonna trip and fall, and I'm sure Felix will go down to help her up. Uh, if she falls, Felix will definitely help her up. So she got a saving throw. <laughs> okay. Uh, on a tank, I don't know. Right, let me give me a second. Uh, he's looking that up, Man Fang. Uh, you have your choice. You can stay right in the center of town in full view, or you can dodge left or dodge right in between two buildings. If I'm you gonna, could dodge an old woman, you could dodge a ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to barrel roll to the right out of the way. Er, okay, yeah, Captain can, Kurt. Roll a die, <laughs> odd left, even right. Even. You barrel roll through the plaza, coming up into a small alley Man, where you so come small. upon Heineken talking to an individual with a large brimmed hat with a fractured feather who sees you, does he recognize you? Probably not. I know he how does to not. first. He okay. does not. Uh, with a two. Uh, conducting business here. What kind? <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Good enough. I'm going to walk out. Uh, Leaf, Leaf, does she get a uh, saving I, throw? I'm getting there, bud. I had to I'm, slow open fine. things up for some reason. So, Felix, you're going to help her up if she falls. I, I, it's if Felix is more likely fast, to help him push her down so I can help her up. Well, at this point, I'd like to lay a hand on her, do a little intimidation on thinking she should take go. those three coins. Uh, oh, it was one coin. It was one coin. Uh, it was one coin. No, it was one gold, but Straight. Leaf rechanged it. Uh, nat 20. She nat bounds. 20 plus six. Uh, so you're gonna first. You gotta you gotta grab her because the nat twenty was her dodging Leafs entanglement. You gotta grab her. Yeah. So what's my well? It's nat twenty plus what Dex? Well, th that's your intimidation. I'll give you that because she'll okay. be scared shitless. Uh, you gotta hit her. Just so, straight twenty roll. Yep, straight twenty. You can use uh, strength and Dex if you want. It should be too tough to grab the old bat. All right, it's twenty one. Uh, yeah, you grab her and she starts screaming. You want to calm down, madam. Uh, D12 against me. Now I got to change dice. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. We're here Stop to resisting. help. We're here to Nine. help. <laughs> uh, Stop resisting. <laughs> your fearsome presence causes her to go silent and she begins to whimper. He owes I, you money. I understand she, he owes you money. I think he offered you money. I think those three coins could uh, go a long means, way in living. She means man fang. I believe the young gentleman right behind you, the elf, offered you to pay for man fang. I think you should take those. I'll take one gold and three silver. I know. We offered no. you that three silver. I gave you three silver and fix your window. I think you should take it. Or we can go out back I, and have a conversation. I don't usually go for half orcs, but I could give you a spin or two. Oh, Felix. Felix. 
if that, oh, you, you know, know if, if a if a ride of this love train is what pays for the window, <laughs> you know. Everyone, I'm willing to take one for the team. God, oh God! What man. are you doing? We, <laughs> we, uh, we are so sorry. Of course, we'll pay you the two gold. The uh, hell we will. Uh, oh, Felix is Saturday. apparently paying two gold. Felix, shut up. Ah, of course we're gonna pay the two gold. Well, just we broke this poor lady's window. What we will happily pay for the window. Yeah, three silver and a repair. She she likes you. Uh, she she is actually interested. If you can use magic to repair it right now, three silver will be conducive to what I need. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of it. I got it. First, let's roll All that right, you wild it, magic roll. That's right. <laughs> Fireball right through the entire shop. <laughs> Gotta set that fucker on fire. <laughs> I rolled one. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> shit, I'm in there. <laughs> yes, you are. The shit is right. Uh, let's see which one I bring up first. Seventy-two. <laughs> is it a fireball? Is it a fireball? Please say. Uh, okay. You. You cast mending upon yourself, Robert the Mighty, uh, and then your stomach rolls and you cast Ray of Sickness on yourself. <laughs> uh, the lady will sidestep and go inside. Now, several minutes have passed, Pagas. So, inside, as you're looking around for this uh, hidden or concealed stairwell, Give me a straight up investigation check. Okay, I have good in that one. You better be. You oh no, I don't. Decks. No, I was the wrong one. <laughs> I have good. But I think with the lower half of my body. <laughs> um uh 15. Uh you see a wanted poster. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What's okay? Wanted poster is just a wanted poster. It could be for anyone. Now, what what's on the wanted poster? You guys. Oh, it could be any <laughs> six assholes. It's not necessarily us. Wait, I, 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 I want to try something. I want to try something. Um, I I should have like a quill or something in my. Do you want to give my... us all mustaches? <laughs> <laughs> And could, maybe some could I, I wanna I wanna draw on the wanted poster something that looks very that wouldn't look like us. Yeah, make Rob make Robert's picture look like I want I wanna don't. draw I wanna like draw something. Felix, are you gonna say something? You look like you're about to burst. I, I shouldn't say. I, yeah, I think I know, I know what you're going to say, and I'm going to say it if you don't. I know exactly <laughs> what, what is to it? draw on Felix that everyone would be like, oh, that's definitely not <laughs> I was going to say scratch out uh, murder and put in love. <laughs> it for love. For crimes of passion. Passion. Love. I, now, draw, I, I draw a very oh. something that disorients all our faces. Okay. Before you do that, uh, give me a... I don't know. Let's do a sort of, let's do a survival roll on this. Okay. <clears throat> Fourteen. Uh, this thing was found on the floor and it was rolled up, indicating a recent arrival. Hmm. So it so she got it recently. Okay, I'm gonna put it in my bag then. Okay. Uh, you have also found the tapestry that hides these stairs going upstairs. Straight upstairs. <clears throat> and... oh, yeah, stealth. 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 Yeah. Give me your stealth roll. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Must be like their of Western Union. <laughs> it, um... All the Aries with the messenger birds coming in. Yeah. 27. Post oh. office. You sneak up uh, on the second level. Uh, you realize uh, that this is the residential quarters of this business. Uh, at the far end of the hallway, you see stairs leading up to the roof, probably the airy. Uh, there are two rooms on the left and one room on the right. Uh, you hear noises coming from the room on the left, just one of the rooms. 
Does the another- noise um like human? Does it sound like a bird? Sounds like a kid. That doesn't sound good. That's not mine. <laughs> this kid looks awfully <laughs> like you, Felix. No, 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 I just have one of those faces. <laughs> and the kid's got a poster hanging in his room. <laughs> What's this kid no, doing no, in here? No, no. So I was just in the store the other day. Someone called me Jeremy. It's definitely I have one of those faces. <laughs> Uh, so, Hoggis, uh, as you come up to the doorway, you can hear it sounds not only one child, but two children uh, oh, no. <laughs> playing some kind of game. Uh, you can enter what is probably a bedroom, uh, or you can try and stealth by and go to the stairs. There, there's nothing in this upstairs besides two rooms, right? Two rooms on the left, one big room on the right. Okay. Mom the room dad, with kids. The, the room with the kids. Is there like a keyhole, crack, anything? Uh, the doorway's open. They have okay. no shame here in uh, Half Rain World. Well, you said I, it's nothing bad, probably. <laughs> no, nothing bad. Okay, I'll, I'll look. Performing a ritual on a goat in a uh, very stealth way to peer in, peer out to get a glimpse, and then give, on give me your to... stealth roll. Twenty-five, fourteen. Uh, you keep. Two two twins uh, think the shining. Uh, they were playing with dolls. Okay. Do they look like the old lady? Like I, I, I no, mean, that, like he said, think the shining. It that's kind of like get the hell away from them. They're um, gonna get murdered. Not necessarily what it means. <laughs> Play with what color the, is the room? Is it a red room by chance? Red, red. It's a red room. <laughs> red room. Red room. <laughs> 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 I like your background, uh, Robert. I bent your head. Well, uh, August, what do you want to do? <laughs> do, do the, what are the kids? Never mind. I'll come back to them. I'll um, open the two other doors to stealthily. No doors. No doors here. No doors. Then uh, the, they're the, open. The, 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 yeah, the one room on the right uh, is a bigger room. Uh, probably mom and dad's room. Okay. Uh, se- second room, probably one of the other kids because there's two kids uh, okay. there's no ostentation ostentatiousness about this place it's a standard dwelling just on the second floor now what do you think these birds are coming from is there a walkway to get to that part funny that you should mention that you hear a loud creak and sunlight comes pouring in by the ladder at the end of the hallway as a trap door is lifted uh, the light is temporarily obscured as it appears another portly figure is making their way down this stair or this ladder leading up to the airy. Okay, down. I'm gonna go. So he's coming, he's not coming towards me, but he's coming to the area I am in. He is coming down the ladder and will be coming towards you momentarily. Okay, I'm gonna slip into the one of the kids' rooms. Ew, gross. With the occupants. Or without occupants. Without occupants. Stealth roll. Yeah, a real uh, thief would have just slipped through the cracks onto the roof. Uh, you deftly dodged the uh, set of round wooden marbles in the doorway and slip in around the corner. Uh, you hear the footsteps of somebody, not a big person. I mean, these are all halflings after all. Uh, and you hear them pause at the doorway where the two girls are at. Gives the uh, standard, you guys playing nice, blah, 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 you know, because dads, they care, especially today. Uh, And then you hear creak, creak, creak as the individual begins to walk down the stairs. Okay, I'm going to go into the parents' bedroom and look around, find some stuff. Uh, D12 against me. Uh, Three. Three, tie, try again. Eleven. And uh, yeah, you find uh, like a religious statue made out of silver. Yeah, probably worth something. Okay. It's in a very yes. prominent location, too. Stealing from a god worked out really well for us. <laughs> mm-hmm. no Wait, this is just here. silver. This is just silver. So what's the god? What's it look like? Uh, it, it, you've seen what the Oscar statue looks like? There you go. Okay, I'm going to pocket that. And anything else in the cupboards, in the underwear drawer, anything? 
good lord. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> Come on, Felix. <laughs> Come on, Felix. Felix in there. <laughs> Wait, you were looking in the women's <laughs> underwear, right? Felix, is this your pouch here? What's this doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, I have that exact same pouch. <laughs> We're like right. hogs buddies. You know, it's a, it's a good uh, thing we have underage people because I have a whole litany <laughs> of items that he could find. Roll odd even. <clears throat> even. I'm even. bringing these back uh, for a friend. Even you have found <clears throat> his underwear drawer. <laughs> I'm scouring the whole room, taking it apart, just just raiding it. You notice how quickly he just skipped away from that whole in the drawer thing, and yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, give me a stealth check because you're going to be making uh, quite a bit of racket. I just want to make sure I'm following the logic. Twenty three. So the post lady for the town, who's an old lady, grandma yeah. boy, we broke her window. <laughs> His partners yeah. in crime, Dragon Boy, <laughs> broke her window, took yeah. off running. The other spread in the, I don't know, kill our burner. Finally, we resolve that. But while we're resolving it, Haggis is in the house, tossing the house of an old woman. Yeah. You forgot <laughs> the part where you mended the window, but then covered her stoop in vomit. What's all this wee stuff? That sounds like it was Robert. That was Robert. All right. Robert, just, hey, you guys. We, ran, got, we ran or died together, bitches. I vomit, you vomit, even though it all came out of me. Outside, you notice a portly man with thinning hair step out. He has seen the fractured window, the stone, and the open door, and is inquiring, what is going on? He sees Robert of Zeppelin's vomit all over the stoop, uh, the, the aroma, not from Odd Fish Games, uh, stinks. So he looks at it. He sees his wife holding three coins for the fountain uh, and sees you collective strangers, except for Fang Man, who just got done. Uh, Running away. Hike. Yeah. So uh, Leaf, Copious, Felix, uh, and Captain Vomit, what would you guys like to say to the owner proprietor? of? I will look at him and say, well, we just paid your wife for a job well done. Did uh, Felix is gonna like step back? <laughs> oh, I'm Robert, sorry. Did Robert get the window mended or not? He did, but the wild magic caused him to cast ray of sickness on himself. Okay, so the window's fixed. Yes. Okay. But the, the broken glass would have still been in there. Yeah, uh, that's right. I just want to make sure the window is fixed. Window, window's uh, fixed. She's happy. I'll tell him what happened. I'll tell him an errant <laughs> rock that was misthrown broke the window. And we offered to repair it. And when he yeah. cast a spell, for some reason, it made him ill when he cast a spell to fix the window. That's uh, all. The missus is happy. She has come to a, a reasonable accord with you guys. Yep. He wants to know who threw the rock. Oh, the, the guy that threw the rock ran away. Well, why was he throwing a rock at my shop? He didn't mean to throw it at your shop. He was throwing it at a stray dog over there by the house that was coming this way and it just kind of got away from him and hit your window in his hand you see three small scrolls uh, uh he, he goes over to his wife uh, uh the two have a very brief discussion uh he waves it off uh looks at robert and says uh You want to, you want to, you want a broom? No, I'm good. I did what I said. I'm walking away. Um, <clears throat> I made your wife happy. See ya. Uh, <laughs> Triorki, we'll mark that off as uh, persona non grata here next. Yeah, one more place we can't freaking come back to. Uh, Haggis, you are still stuck. Or you know what, Manfang, you are now in the middle of the town square. Uh, you can see your associates seem to have smoothed the things out uh, for once, from your perspective. What would you like to do? I'd go back. Uh, they'll probably recognize me and get angry. Uh, what's so the, the two merchants? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they'll probably recognize me. I don't want to get involved again. 
So what's around? A uh, variety of shops, the uh, town cistern, the well, uh, people milling about uh, to and fro. Okay. I guess I should just look around for something to do in the meantime. Go get your nails done. I will. Maybe get that. Uh... Ooh. Uh, Haggis, uh, you're pilfering uh, the innocent household. What do you want to do? Well, can I see the, the confrontation with everyone in the family from like a window? You cannot. So they're not near any window? They are in the front of the building. Uh, you do not have any windows in the room that you are currently in. In the front, you have two on the side and one in the back. Okay. Glass is well, expensive, I'm ma'am. I'm just going to walk out, I guess. I, I got a wanted poster. Uh, stealth check to avoid the twins. Um, Please botch this one. <laughs> well, like, do I do I have to stealthily go past the twins? Yeah, the room's right across. You don't yeah, have but to like, stealthily. But do I have to do it? Like, can I just walk downstairs? And... Sure. Okay. Do a deception check to see if they think you're dad. Cover your face. Oh, I never oh, thought. <laughs> De- Talk in a real deep voice. Um, 16. You hear one of them yell out, Dad, she's cheating. Uh, and then you make your way down the stairs. I'm pulling play for uh, As you reach the bottom, you move the tapestry over. Uh, D12 against me to see if it's when the man was talking to his wife or when he's standing in the doorway. Die 12? Yep. One. Four. Uh, You catch him as he is coming back in and he is bewildered and asks if he can help you. Oh yeah. Is this the scroll shop? It is. Oh, I am interested in purchasing a scroll. Does he see the scroll in your hand? I put it in my bag. Five, you did put it in your bag. Uh, We have a variety of parchment as well as vellum here, an assortment of inks. How may I assist you? Do you have anything that like I I could cast and it's like forever? I have it forever. Cast and it's on me forever. Uh, you mean hente? <laughs> what? That, that's not the right word. What's the... Uh, that's not, a right, he's that's not the, the right word. A, he's wanting to buy a spell. Hannah. That's what it is. Right. Hannah. That's right. Hannah. Uh, you what? Like Hannah? Like a tattoo <laughs> shop? Yeah, know. hente. Isn't that Japanese? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Japanese yeah. <laughs> with, with this group, either or works. <laughs> <laughs> I think actually Haggis is going, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, I'm surprised exactly. we didn't see Felix go. He's not in the room. Or <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying this for a friend. <laughs> uh, uh, I, you mean like a protection scroll? Sure. No, we don't sell those. Okay. We, well, we that, sell, that, thank we sell you. rudimentary items here. Yeah, 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 I get you. So to confirm, no hente for you. <laughs> Well, maybe. <laughs> did you Boy, hear that? that, Felix? One. Did you hear that? You, you missed that one, Felix. <laughs> I did miss that one. I walked away and heard, "Did Felix hear that one?" And I did not. I was like, "What?" Okay. Uh, Haggis comes out. Uh, Do they sell adult comics in this game? Do you think, like on scrolls? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like he's trying I mean, to sell it to you. <laughs> well, I, I, think about it. Think about it. We could we could start a business here with Felix the Great, the comic series. I don't uh, think Felix wants to get into that. There's too much. But well, there used to be one issues. August named Felix the Cat. Now the Dirty <laughs> Felix the Strip, right? That's what we. Need. <laughs> <laughs> Felix and the Tiny ba- Felix and the Adventures of the Tiny. <laughs> Felix ba- and the Jackson. <laughs> Uh, you go out. Robert has already walked away. Uh, Manfang is MIA. Uh, Felix, Leaf, and Copius are there. Uh, the portly uh, co owner walks in, kind of looks at you, walks past you, uh, warns you, mind the vomit, uh, and give me a straight up D20 roll. Yes. Oh, what you yeah. Just Hoggis. 
Oops. 13. Uh, you hear her before you set foot onto the stoop and give a nice a jaunty leap over the pile of vomit from Robert uh, the Dragon Skinner. Okay, uh, I, um, I do got... this to my pals. We gotta go. I, I, I gotta talk to you guys. I found some henne in there. No. <laughs> Some good quality. But I, I, I found a I found a wanted else. poster with all of us on it, even Felix. Uh, Robert, wait, were wait, you wait. headed towards <laughs> Man Fang or okay? <laughs> you see Man Fang get approached by a I will say seedy individual. It is a human. Uh, Man Fang, you here? What? Hey, come here. You want to earn some quick coin? Uh, in what way? I'm going to run up and grab his shoulder. Don't get in that van! <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's two of you. You guys want to earn some quick coin? Sure. Do I know you? I don't think so. What kind of coin? How much? What are we talking? What do I got to do? Two gold. My wagon broke down. I, I busted a wheel. I need somebody to help lift it up while I replace the wheel on it. Help find me. Help find my lost puppy. I have some candy inside if you want some. Ooh! Oh, yeah. Ooh, now we're talking. Let's go. Sure, let's, let's go see your wagon. Yeah, let's go see his wagon. Eight, right down the middle of the road. Plain view of everybody. Doesn't seem to give a shit. Uh, you guys are going to walk about a quarter of a mile. He keeps telling you, it's just up ahead. It's just, just up ahead. Uh, you get to the edge of some woods. And uh, as advertised, there is a small Conestoga wagon uh, with a fractured wheel. Uh, half of it is missing. It's tilted at an irregular angle, and he has some casks. They are about yay big, yay big around. Uh, What's the uh, emblem on those casks? Is there a signature there signage? Is. Uh, there, there, there is a little bit of signage. It looks a lot like the... Uh, uh, what was the pir uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, the English mark? Uh, East India Trading Company. There you go. It's the East India Trading Company, but so, that's not what it is. So does it, does it look like wine casts or something like that? No, not really. It looks like something else. Gunpowder? It's got a, it's got a familiar aroma to it. Maybe oil? Sulfur? Pitch? Something like that, maybe? Whale oil. Burnables. Burnables. That's where the big money is in the whale industry. <laughs> There's some apex. Milk credit. those whales. Milk that's where the, whales. That's where the money whale. is. Whale oil. Man, Fang, and Robert, he directs you to one of you take the front corner. Nano whales. Uh, the other, make sure that it doesn't tip over into the ditch. Uh, and he's going to go ahead and get the, the wheel off. And then he's going to put the wheel on. And if you guys need a break... Uh, just tell him, and he will he will stop in the middle. Once he gets it off, you guys can set it down, catch a breath. He doesn't want to, you know, make it rough on you. Uh, and that that's the plan. I'm this close to killing this guy after we get the wheel on it. Take it this close. I didn't see Don't this do close. It. Don't do it. I want to help him. I want to help him. Let's I'm help helping because it might be, you know. Yeah, we're helping together. Where, where are you? Uh, I need a break. I need a break for a moment here. Where are you heading with this load? Well, I, I'm I'm headed uh, up to Light Reach. Really? Yep. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> what do you What do you have at uh, Light Reach? What's What's calling you there? Uh, this particular concoction uh, is used to coat the roofs to make them waterproof. And <laughs> if you've ever been to Light Reach, you know there's a lot of water there. So this will coat the roofs and uh, coat the shingles, and uh, it it will. Well, that's really, funny my my organization actually owns property out there oh well then i will probably be uh pestering your uh, associates well then before you even get that far would you like to talk to my other associates <laughs> after done? i would but can we repair the wagon first yeah i i'm feeling a little better okay uh he asks you both to lift so i'll take strength checks Oh, right. I got a roll. I forgot. Yeah, I know. And since we've been packing and moving, I can't find anything in this house. But that 19 will work for me, plus my strength. So that's uh, 24. 
Easily. I got an 18 plus five. Oh, you guys lift the shit out of that thing. He, he asks you to lower it a little bit because, you know, you got to get the hinge pin out. Uh, he gets the hinge pin out, uh, 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 shakes the uh, half wheel off, tosses it to one side. You guys doing okay? You guys okay? Runs yeah, to man, the back of the wagon, comes up. Uh, he, he's got another wheel. He, he gets ready to slap it on there. Go ahead and give me another strength check. Okay. One. one. 17 plus 22. One. Nice. Uh, roll a D8 there, man, Fang. Gotcha. Where's my D8? Do I have one? I'm pretty sure I do. It's got to be somewhere. It's a D8. Six. Six of the barrels roll out. How many of them fracture? Only one fractures, coating the grass with a thick, viscous substance. Uh, it's not black, though. It's more opaque, almost translucent. Uh, you notice this. Uh, Manfang, one of uh, your testicles has had a blowout as you give yourself a hernia, uh, but he manages to slap <laughs> the wheel on there. You're going to walk with a lump <gasps> for, uh, let's say, uh, <clears throat> One day you're going to walk with a strange limp as you're kind of feeling the tug. Uh, but he does manage to get it on. He goes, well done. Two gold pieces, gentlemen. Gives it to Gimpy. Uh, there's your money. Let's go talk to your associates, my friends. Wait, can I keep that? Is there still a little bit of oil in that fractured, fractured barrel? Yeah, a little bit. All right, then I want to. I'll say since it fractured and it was all my bad. Is it okay? What? Ah, I just want to. you have the broken task. Can I have it? Since it's, you know, it's broken now. Unless you want to keep it perfectly fine if you want to keep it. Persuade me. Very well. That is number 13. What's my persuasion? 13's fair enough. All right. Uh, no, my friend, I appreciate the help. You and. You and your staunch companion there have saved me quite the trip. The Cooper would have cost me the same amount. <laughs> but I would have had to have found him. Uh, you guys head in towards town. Uh, Copious, Leaf, Haggis, Felix. <sighs> Two of your retinue seems to have found a new friend. Guys, I got some whale oil. It's real nice quality hey copious this guy's heading out to light reach he's got some work explain this is my um, associate here explain to him what you're telling me well I, what i'm doing is i'm headed to light reach and i have this fantastic fluid that will not only coat but seal and protect uh the uh cobblestone or cobbles of the roof uh at light reach as you know coastal towns have and he goes through this long infomercial spiel the important time is right now is d12 against me this is tack oil tactical oil only yeah, used by me, the military felix is gonna go look at that while you're while he's doing the pitch as as you guys surround this guy's wagon uh you can tell that man thing is kind of dripping with petroleum jelly almost uh because he's picked up one of the fractured ones uh, copious behind you, you hear you. Uh, as you all turn to this unseen foe, you realize he has a very wide brim hat with a fractured ostrich feather. Next to him is Heine Kin, uh, who says, Hey, boss, I got the deal. <laughs> a look to her, a look to you guys. And you can see the color of his face rising in anger. Wait a minute. You work for these guys. Yes, sir. They're the ones that gave us the money. <laughs> Anybody want to intercede or let this run its ugly course? Probably should intercede, right? Is, is there a crowd around us or is it just the guy with the barrels? 
it's not a growing, well, it's not a crowd, but it is growing as onlookers take notice that this man's fury seems to be growing in intensity. Plus this weird guy with a whole bunch of barrels is in here. So that's kind of cool. You know, I'm going to look at Heine either. and I'm going to say, did you strike a deal? Did you shake on a deal, Heine? Boss, the deal's made. Okay. A deal's a deal. You're not trying to welch on this deal, are you? Uh, the other members of Triorki are starting to come around. I am a merchant. I do not welch on deals. Okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> you know, because if you think about it, you're, you're you know, letting your anger get the best of you. We get this enterprise up and running. It could be lucrative for you when you pass through, too. We're going to need bedding and curtains and and a lot of other things. And a stable boy. So you need to think, you need to think (laughs) dollars. You need to think dollars and cents and put aside your other problems here. Uh, persuasion disadvantage after Haggis throws that in. It's the I, I, I got to agree with that one. I, uh, I, like, the, I like the pitch, but uh, the uh, stable boy insult might be yeah. a little bit offensive. So, Haggis, you first. Uh, let me see. We'll D20 it off to see if I heard your under the breath comment. 18. Straight D20. So, uh, leave straight up persuasion. All right. I don't have much in the way. Because remember, Haggis is short, so he's probably 18. on the wrong side. Uh, you can tell that he's gritting his teeth and does not appreciate being called out in front of potential clientele. However, he is interested in the business opportunities and asks you, Leaf, if uh, you would be interested in hammering out the details over dinner. Well, right now we've got some other things to, to attend to. We don't have for time for that. And you, you're going to need to talk, uh, hammer out that stuff with Hey Boss. Oh, uh, with Heine. Hey Boss. Oh, no. Heine. I like saying Hey Boss. <laughs> hey Boss. Uh, copious, he points out it's only one o'clock in the afternoon ish. Uh, well, I- dinner, my friend. Hi. Sure. Yeah, I, let's just, I'm going to say, of course. Witness protection. Fair enough. Uh, Man Fang, uh, you're... <laughs> Sticky. Yeah, it, it seems to have an adhesion factor. Glue. Yeah, unfortunately, I think Felix took a handful of it as well. And what were you doing with it, Felix? Yeah. Well, Felix he originally was just hand. Tucked his what finger the in hell? it. Next thing you know, it's I've, all over I've, his hand. I'm going to tell Copious uh, on his side, or tell, you know, Mr. Feather in his hat, you'll join him. But uh, this you is. You go, uh, boss. You go, boss. This stuff that uh, this guy has got that he was taking a light reach, he says it's to waterproof the roof. You know, we could use something like this in the construction of the, okay. the new inn. How loud do you say that? I'm whispering that okay, to Copious. Uh, I. Yeah, I think it. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's a good idea. The question is, do we want to play this and let him know, hey, uh, we've just been told by this guy, the feather in his cap, Hugo Boss. Yeah, light reach is gone. It's all been destroyed. Yeah, let's just play it off that we heard it from him and 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 go with this and see if we can make a deal with this because you know he's going to be upset that he's not going to be able to sell. Maybe we can yeah, get we, a good deal on it. Maybe we could take a lot of this product off of his hands and the wagon too. And the way. Oil, son. All right. Is that what you're going to talk to him at dinner or talk to him right now? No, no, no. We're going to talk to the wagon driver. The, right. Uh, yeah. Tonight or at dinner. Or right now or at dinner. Talk yeah. to him right now, I think. The Hugo Boss is dinner, right? Hugo Boss is right there and Hugo Boss is dinner. Yeah. No, we just want to talk to the, the drover who had the... Uh, uh, whatever the, I don't know, the whale sperm that they're all playing in right now. Uh, yeah, I call yeah. him Cody the oh. Adhesive Guy. Cody the Adhesive oh. Guy. I like the sperm whale Wait, sperm. wait, 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 hold I, on. I think I, that's... I don't want that. Did you taste that, Felix, by any chance? Oh, Felix has it all over himself. He's 
he originally just stuck his finger in it. Next thing you know, it's, it's just everywhere. Felix looks like he's an 80s defensive back covered yeah. in stick of <laughs> Not to steal from the Japanese, but the term butaki keeps popping. Yes, that's exactly what's happening here to Felix. And, uh, and he's going to pipe up and say, excuse me, sir, uh, I didn't catch your name. What was it, Mr. Mays? Uh, does this William, brother- William's my father. They call me Cody. Cody Mays or Billy Mays? I, I can't think of the uh, slap chop guy. That's the one I really want. Oh, to Ron Popeil? No, yeah, no, we'll no. go. Yeah, I, I was you know thinking what? Billy Mays. And yeah, I was gonna, thinking this product that seals, when it dries, is it still flexible or is it going to crack on us? Oh, it's flexible because it's got to bend oh. with the wind. Bend, not break, friend. Ah, flex, like flex seal, no, flex is, seal. This is the quality flex, flex seal. It's flex, flex seal. seal. That's uh, he, he gets into that whole info. <laughs> uh, you know, it's very durable. It lasts for a long time, and it's easy to go ahead and handle. What you I want, saw you this want boat in half. <laughs> can it repair our boat? Could you could you cut this boat in half and repair it with the? Well, I can cut this cart in half and repair it instantaneously. That's all fine and dandy, but. How do I get it off? Do you have a, a product like an oxygenated cleaner that would cleanse it off <laughs> me? A, a crowd is starting to form up because A, they're interested in glossy hands, and B, hey, this <laughs> dude's are. gonna cut his wagon in half. This ought to be pretty cool. <laughs> so, meanwhile, uh, as you stand there, a young lady with a charisma of 18 comes right up next to you, Felix. <laughs> hey, baby. I can just see Maggot running over. Look, I got it on my hands now. Uh, she is she is deeply interested in the product pitch as Cody Mays, uh, the adhesive guy, is intrigued. God. Now, see, seeing the other potential customers, Felix, uh, your question is kind of sidelined as he says, "Folks, folks, I have a lot here. I have a lot, and I guarantee it. Or my name is not Cody Mays." Oh, I ask him, what's the coverage on this? How, how much will one cask cover? Uh, one cask, uh, that is an excellent question, my friend. Excellent question. This man, this man knows how to do a pitch. Ah, uh, this one, one barrel, one copious amount of fluid. I'm going uh, to look, I'm going to look right at both. <laughs> well, we're all going to look right at copious. <laughs> we'll cover an entire rooftop. And it'll protect you from leaks, bird shit, you name it. Wind, seal it right up. Fire? Ah, uh, it is somewhat flammable, my friend. But you know what? That doesn't matter. Uh, just don't catch a roof on fire. Nobody likes fire. We all like uh, protection. What? This is the protective stuff. This, I guarantee, will make your life much better. Copious, you recognize this individual. Uh, he could sell ketchup packets to nuns in white gloves. He is really raking them in. Orders are starting to be taken. As Step people, are, as people are, are, are interested, uh, and they ask for a demonstration. You know, Good news, I, Felix. Look at this man's hands. They're covered. He could, I, he, he could drop them in that cistern, come up dry. I'm going to tell Copious, and I'm not going to be quiet about you know, I think we maybe would be better off covering the end with a slate roof. There's a plentiful supply of slate nearby. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. How do we? How the hell do we get this off? Well, I think fire. You said right. Oh. And it won't burn. Yeah. Probably be fine. You could have uh, Captain Maria's sickness there burn it off for you. <laughs> <laughs> Robert. Uh, we need a uh, fireball. Felix, you, you are being Your hand in the plate. to one side. Uh, <laughs> even the attractive 18 charisma girl stepped up and she's interested. She's she you know she she'd like she'd like one of those. So uh, you guys notice these people are buying it. Book line and sinkers. So if you want to keep some of this, you need to uh, up the ante. I don't think we ought to buy it myself. Not at this point. Maybe we should have some dinner with Hugo. The more this snake oil salesman talks, the less I want his product. 
all, Ricky all Bobby, kids. what do yeah. I do with my hands? <laughs> what do I have to do with my hands? <laughs> it was a good race, you know. It's a... Uh, only, only from the fact that this is flammable, it'd be nice to like absolutely coat somebody's house in it and set it on fire. Oh, that's a good point. I know this old lady. Keep, keep all the smoke inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think, as far as the end's concerned, on second thought, maybe that's not such a good idea. Because you know, it burned down once; it could burn down twice. We'd be better off building this thing out. Starting to harden. I don't like this. I need something to get this off. Form a fist so your fist doesn't break when you punch. Like oh, nice. I would rather spend a little bit extra and and build this thing out of out of cobblestone and slate. I just want this guy's wagon. Fifty percent of the barrels get... have been spoken for already. Well, they're, I'm a, they're throwing I'm a, money. I'm going to look him right in the eye and say, "How much for the wagon and the team?" I can sell it all, or you wish to buy it. I think a healthy arrangement could be made. Say 100 gold pieces for the team and the wagon. Gentlemen, I will confer with my compatriots. So did 99. You hear 110. From who? Do Do you go boss? Has entered the bidding. 111. 111. 115. 115 and one copper. Felix is going to raise his hand. 111. Gold only, my friend. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take out my battle axe and start honing the blade. I said, I think the price was 100. It's 115 now, my friend. Uh, who said that? Who's auction. saying that? The wagon Hugo master. Boss. Hugo Boss and the, the wagon master are like the price is 115 at this point in time. At this point in time. Because, my friends, what I need is a team of horses to go and remove the wreckage so that we may all rebuild light reach to the shining city on the cliff that it was for us. Who said it was destroyed? You you said you were going to go coat the house. You didn't say it was destroyed. No, no, no. That's uh, that's the... Uh, oh, the Hugo Jesus said guy. that. Hugo, okay. Hugo wants to repair because Hugo... I've got to pull a stick. A philanthropist. <laughs> I'm going to pick up a stick on the ground and, and hold it up in front of me and using my druid craft, cause it to catch a fire. And I'm saying, did you see this stuff was highly flammable? Felix, uh, you're awful close. <laughs> Come here, uh, Felix. He's going to back up like... Oh, Man okay. thing, uh, you are also close. <laughs> uh, Leaf, how about a straight up D20 to make sure that you didn't get a little too close you to one of your companions? 15. Okay, yeah, you're uh, holding it aloft, so... Felix and uh, Man Fang are kind of uh, doing this. I'm, I'm gonna tell Man Fang uh, toss that that broken cast over here for a minute. Okay. While you hold the fire, have you seen him throw a rock? No, 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 not to me. Just throw it on the ground. I'm gonna throw it at him. Uh, at disadvantage because it's sticky fingers. Oh. Uh, but it does have fluid in it, so. Disadvantage, <laughs> Dex as your modifier. I know. I need to choose my words a little bit more <laughs> carefully next time. Yeah. Luckily, this is druid craft. This isn't a real fire. It's a sensory effect. I think it's real fire. I'd still roll a new character. I clearly <laughs> said druid craft when I said I was doing 14. It. 14 at disadvantage. Uh, he Wait, no, 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 no. Sorry. This is a disadvantage. I got to roll again. Okay. That was your best. That was that, that was, was a good one. <laughs> this is this is freaking tr- man thing we're talking about. Uh, you know he only uses is, a d6. That is a three. <laughs> <laughs> you flip the shattered remnants of the small barrel and coat leaf in the viscous fluid. Some of it goes into the flame 
and everybody gasps, but nothing happens. And Cody, this is our better concoction. This Son is not bitch. even flammable. <laughs> <laughs> the money is now coming out. <laughs> 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 Which beer is not is not flammable, Cody? Which uh, beer? This is amazing. All of them. <laughs> Alright, so die four for wild magic. <laughs> I'm gonna go change my damn robe. Is the end still open? I might go with that. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna go in the end. I'm cover. just gonna go over and take this damn robe off and put a clean one on. I'm gonna roll a one for my wild magic. Yes. So did I. <laughs> fireball, fireball, fireball. And I rolled a five. Ot, ot. Five. Huh. <laughs> Teleport into the fire. You cast <laughs> you cast a magic <laughs> missile as a two D fourth. Uh so fourth level magic missile times what? two right into the wagon. But, well, along, with, uh, along with that was also create a bonfire on the wagon. Yep. I figured. Jesus Christ. So the, the wagon with half the barrels is on fire, and you just shot like four D4 worth of magic missile into it at the same time? Breaking every single of the 50% that are left. Uh, this is going to cause some consternation as uh, I, I'm men. sure since we're all men, we've all poured gasoline and thought not eh, far enough away and thrown the match in and decided, oh, I, it was definitely not that far away. Uh, that is what Robert has done. The only one that told me that they were escaping was Copious, Felix, now, and I, I do want to mention that I am not right next to it because I do have a 60-foot range. Well, yeah, but you were up there trying to make the deal. Yes, you were. Uh, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I'm not right next to the damn wagon. Is he doing this while I'm running, going away to change my robe, oh, or while I'm standing oh, there covered in shit? That, he, uh, you heard what he was going to do, and you started to leave. Copious heard him start to speak, and <laughs> so those everybody takes one d six fire damage, except Man Fang and Felix. Who take three d six? Needless to say, Hugo Boss's hat is really going to take the brunt. Of it. <laughs> uh, well, the problem here is my robe's, my robe's covered with this shit. Oh, that's right. You take three d six as well. <laughs> I'm not rolling them hobo dice. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> Ain't no damn way. <laughs> So everybody but Copious gets 1d6 four, or 3d6. Four. 3d6, and I got four points. <laughs> Can he roll for all of us? I rolled nope. the big ones. Uh, Don't you know roll what? Hobo hey, dice. Uh, hey, Felix, you want me to roll? I, I got no, 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 no. I rolled this up. Are, are, are you okay. sure? I rolled, no, I rolled this up. I already rolled. There's only two hobos right there. I rolled a nine. <laughs> That's why I didn't roll mine. This is a time for me to shine. I got yeah. a roll low. Yeah, 18. dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a five. That's a five, and that's a four. Good <laughs> <laughs> lord! <laughs> <laughs> you are cursed, son. You are legitimately cursed. You can't roll that much damage on anybody else but yourself. Oh, god dang. Uh, Hog and Robert, uh, Copious, as you whisk yourself away, all you hear is, <laughs> Oh, God. Is this the flamble? Whoa. It is now. Wait a minute. I thought you said this was a flamble. This is bullshit. He lied to us all. Everybody around is smoking to a various degree. I figured I got like one hair on top of my head that's cinder, you know, just yeah. cinders. Uh, Hugo Boss's ostrich feather is no longer fractured. It is been burnt like an old cigarette, and it is now uh, one third of its uh, original length. And there's a great big gaping hole in it. Uh, the Cody, I figured he looks like that Home Alone guy, uh, Joe Pesci. Yeah, 
Joe Pesci. So <laughs> Cody, uh, the adhesive guy, is in really bad shape because, of course, he's right there. And he's going to take uh, six, five, and three. So apparently Man Fang rolled for him. And he is down and on fire. Uh, some well-meaning citizens begin to try and kick dirt on him. Uh, there will be three citizens. Let's see if any of them actually kick him in the face. <laughs> right in the cranium, just finish 16, him off. 16, 14. Uh, they succeed in kicking dirt onto him. Copious, you give the over-the-shoulder glance, see the mushroom cloud in the middle of Triorki. I'm going to cast, I'm going to cast create water. It's good idea. Water <laughs> Yeah, let's let's put water. water on the uh, oil. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to explode into another mushroom Absolutely. cloud. Absolutely, let it go. The petroleum-based no. product is going to go up. Okay, uh, this town is gone, baby. It's going up. The wagon, <laughs> the mule, and the 50% of the contents are all up in the air ash. Uh, Cody is... Pretty it's like a hurt. Quentin Tarantino movie. The donkey just disappeared. Exactly. Not even a red mist. <laughs> all, all you see are the four hooves in the dirt. Exactly. <laughs> uh, two of these sisters run over to Cody. <laughs> cannot resurrect. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Co Cody Mays. Uh, <laughs> we had Cody to drop Mays. the stable hand ready for him. To help him in this time of trial. Wow. Uh, nice job. Uh, <laughs> they were going to be quite helpful NPCs. Uh, this might uh, put a damper on your dinner appointments uh, with Hugo Boss, Copious. <laughs> is he still, is he nearby? And can I see the hats missing the top and the feathers broken? Oh, yes. That once ostentatious beauty of a hat uh, in the span of three hours is <laughs> Copius is going to look at him, and, and you know that's a halfling. He's taller than Copius, but Copius is somehow going to manage to look down his nose at him and say, "I hope you'll dress for dinner." Fair enough. Uh, with that uh, mic drop, I, I, I'm not even going to try and beat that one. He's uh, just going to start break down and crying. Wow. Uh, Good job, guys. Uh, Man Fang, what'd you think today? I thought it was great. You know, I had I had an amazing time. You know, um, it could it could have had a few more things, but other than that, it was a great time. I, I think I'm gonna make you my designated damage die roller for everybody. No. Oh. Oh. Uh, Robert, what do you think? Uh, I think it went as well as it could ever have. I mean, a, a, a douchebag NPC came in. A nice NPC became a douchebag. Can I burn him up? That's how we play. Wow. You know, there's nice. There was this bad guy and this nice guy. I said, why not kill both? <laughs> well, the nice guy was kind of being a douchebag and you know working more towards the bad guy. Well, they both had to go. Well, one went. The other one just lost his little fancy dancy hat. Well, the other one you don't need to be killing because we need him to make the tents. I didn't kill him. That's sure. true. He's not What's from lack of trying? Hoggins, hey, he Nicholas said it was anti it was flame proof. Uh, hey, I just hey. tested it. He lied. Hoggins, <laughs> what'd you do? I enjoyed this game today. I, I can't wait to summon my um my fiend friend. Uh, duck. You, you haven't my found duck. your duck yet, yeah. but you know what? I've already worked it into the system. Awesome. Uh, you're going to have to send me the picture, though. I want to make sure I get it right. Uh, also, I'm going to alter its appearance somewhat. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jason, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> The whole episode, I just I had the songs from the Music Man playing through half of them, and at some point we went from the Music Man to some mob movie that I'm not aware of. Goodfellas. <laughs> That's what I was wondering when we turned into Goodfellas. Uh, then, hey, what you, hey, you, come here. We want to talk to this guy. Uh, yeah, it. Uh, you know, I, I really wasn't sure how it was going to work out. 
I did not envision it working out so well. <laughs> yeah, from, uh, your AJ, perspective. from my perspective, this was a perfect episode. Uh, AJ, what'd you think? Yeah, I think everything's going well. We're right on track. And he tempted you with a 14 and an 18 charisma. But that 14 charisma, she ran away too quickly because I think Felix would have gone right after her. And the yeah, 18 once. charisma, Felix was trying to go after her, but his hands were just. I was. I, you know what? I wanted you to grab her. I, <laughs> had the so crowd had not locked. separated us, I was going to put my arm around her, and I assumed that it was elephant flu. It was going to rip. <laughs> oh, was, that would have been good. I yeah, she'd have so went from good. an 18 to a 10. Yep. Uh, Frank Sr., what do you think? I, I'm really surprised at you. You had every opportunity to kill half a dozen halflings around the wagon. You didn't take it. Oh, uh, you know, I am a benevolent DM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 right. you know, I, yeah, I, yeah, I got Cody good. May. Yeah, yeah. I got Cody May, but I couldn't get Hugo Boss. So Hugo Boss is unwell. <laughs> uh, the other halflings are also unwell. Uh, but there is 50% of the product still out there if you want to put in a counter offer to the individual owners. So you do I have I, half I a still, coat. I still personally feel like we shouldn't bother with it. It makes a great explosive. This stuff's like napalm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, there, there you know, are, we could use it against an elephant. Or a bounty hunter. Or a whale. Or a whale. Or an elephant. <laughs> Or another whale. <laughs> Two whales. So yeah, don't, same time. Don't narrow your scope to construction only. Or an whales elephant with a dandy sitting on its back with another one of them goofy hats on. Don't That's narrow your way. vision. Oh, whales don't forget the apple. the future of construction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a thought. Folks, this has been Virgo Hobo Inc., the uh, Margu slash tri generational campaign. We hope you enjoyed it as much as these guys did. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about DD, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap, it's out there. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on a one shot, uh, this Saturday, I believe uh, Jason is going to be running an item. Uh, in lieu of the Calamity campaign. So once we get confirmation, there may be a couple seats there available for you to play in. Uh, hit us up at mhoboinc, Gmail, or Twitter, and we will get you on that one shot either this week, next week, or whenever he can run it. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, uh, for dice that killed Cody Mays. Rest in peace on <laughs> Father's Day. Uh, I'm sure his orphan daughter will understand that and the all, twins don't forget the twins and the twins the twins that haggis took an unusual interest in what are you talking uh, i didn't do anything i didn't, I didn't. <laughs> you, stole, you stole a deity statue there sport i got it written down uh, it was just a statue it's just a statue it wasn't the twins he was after it was the barbie dolls they were playing with that's right uh they touched me here. Uh, Oddfish Games <laughs> has adventure sense uh, to make your game not smell like napalm. <laughs> uh, take a look at it. They also help you oh, write gosh. much more gooder than me. So take a look at their shine system. Folks, we got the talk show on Tuesday. I think we're talking about romance. I don't know why. I, you know, that's just what's on the slate. Who's the guest speaker? <laughs> Wouldn't be Felix, would it? Oh, I don't know, but it sounds like we need romance. To get, uh, we, we do need a, an expert in the field of romance, and uh, with his roles, I'm, I'm mm. certain that uh, there are options. So I don't know. Felix wants in, uh, you know, tune in and see uh, see what love tips Felix can offer for you. Uh, <laughs> folks, that's it for us. Happy Father's <laughs> Day. Thanks for watching. We will see you uh, Tuesday and then again next week. Everybody, kiss and wave. Mwah! Oh my God, you guys are nice.